You know, it's funny. I knew from the time I was eight or nine years old that I was going to be an artist. It's incredible. You know, you, you're up on this mountain and um, you can see the storms blowing in and the sky changes color. Oh, it can change four, five, six times a day. It's, it's amazing. And when a storm comes in and the sun's shining at the same time, oh, the sky can be green and purple and it's magical. I love at the end of fall when all the leaves are then off the trees and you can see the stark contrast between the sky and the wood of the trunks of the trees and the gravel and the dirt in the ground. There are scarves there too. There's scarves everywhere. There's colors everywhere. It's, it's exciting. I always dreamed about being an artist and living in a place like this, away from people where I could, I could just walk if I needed to walk be if I needed to be, work if I needed to work, and that's kind of how it happens. This is the yarn that'll get threaded into the loom. And um, the, the idea for it, the inspiration, came from, well, here's the flower. It was blooming all over the meadow a week ago when I first dyed it. And look at the color. And the black-eyed Susans, and that combination was really the inspiration for this. And, and I mean, even the dried flowers will turn into a scarf. I'm, I'm just so, I'm so inspired by how things grow and how nature puts it together naturally. It's right there for us. You know, we don't have to figure it out. Um, you know, it's, it's right here. You just have to open your eyes and look, you know, and then play a little bit. I'll thread this into the loom and then I'll weave but I won't weave with just one color. I'll weave with two colors at the same time, reacting to, yet again, nature's palette. And, uh, and then ultimately, somebody else will finish the conversation because it'll turn into a scarf and it'll end up around somebody's neck and that will be the completion of the project when somebody finishes it by wearing it. Um, how do I find an audience? That was my biggest puzzle. How, did I, how can I find somebody who's interested in my work? And um, really, I attribute the success to Tamarack Foundation and Tamarack for helping me find those connections. Um, you know, there's just so many cows and so many horses you can have a conversation with on a gravel road. But it was as a result of the, the networking and the um, the relationships that they helped me build with buyers and galleries and museums that enabled me to, in essence, find my business. Through the foundation, through Tamarack, through the connections that they were able to help me make, I've built relationships with buyers and gallery owners and museum curators, and uh, they then find the audience for my work so that I can stay here and produce. So it's pretty incredible.